Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a brand new art journal page and I'm playing with products from Colorcraft. The stamps I'm using are all from Rubber Dance. I start with the mini round jelly plate and sprinkle some brush or powder onto it. I'm using watercolor paper and wet the whole page with border. I'm using the Brush Show Acrylic Mist Spray, this is Rose Red, and add it also onto the jelly plate and dip my background into it. I use a brush to sprinkle some of the copper mist onto my page. I dried this with the heat tool and add water to the rest of the page. I'm adding some turquoise brushes. After everything is completely dry, I add a layer of white gesso and I use a palette knife to scrape it on. As I didn't use any kind of fixative, the brush or colors will bleed into the gesso. When the gesso is dry, I add some background stamping. I use different stamps from Rubber Dance. And I use the Memento dye inks, although they are not permanent when they are dry. I don't mind when they bleed into my next layer. I add some white splatters. And a second layer of gesso. I'm coloring in my main image with brushes. I used the lovely brand new cat from Rubber Dance. You will find a free shipping code to the Rubber Dance online store in my description box. I picked some coloring paper from a coloring book to add it to my pages and what I did, um, that is not on camera, I add a stencil doily with the Colorcraft Pearl Soft Foam Relief Paste to the top right and the left corner. Thank you. 
I add some background stamping for more interest. I add some color splatters with the black acrylic paint from Colorcraft. After the splatters are dry, I add some more brush shows to get a higher contrast. I'm using the same colors I've used for the cat, it was light brown and purple. I'm die cutting the sentiment with some Sizzix alphabet dies and I'm writing the word smile. I use the negative piece of my sentiment to add some stenciling to the page. I use a liquid glue to add some dots to my page and add some copper glitter to it. I let the glitter dry before I add the cat and the sentiment. Here is my finished page. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a thumb up. Bye!